Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hi guys, I'm here with the Commander Mini. I've been just loving this wheel. First of all, a huge shout out to Leem at EUC Underground for providing me this uh, wheel for extended testing. Thanks again, Leem. If you're watching this, I really do appreciate it, your help and support. Uh, so I have about 200 miles on this wheel. Probably a third of that has been on trails. So mostly uh, pavement. Uh, today I thought I would raise the pedals and then uh, continue testing the wheels and see, unless I really hate it when I raise the pedals, see what effect it has. Uh, the pedals come uh, out of the box in the low position. There's two positions, low or high. And uh, you can raise the pedals 12 millimeters, about half an inch, which isn't a lot, uh, but you'd be surprised how much uh, the just little changes in pedal height can affect the balance of the wheel, the stability, uh, pedal clearance for rock clips, uh, stuff like that. Uh, very easy to do. So let's, uh, let me pull in the camera and show you the process. Before I uh, modify the pedal height, I want to talk about these two posts which are protruding from the bottom of the pedal hanger area. Uh, I highlighted this as a negative when I um, did my unboxing video. And I said I was going to uh, fabricate some foam pieces to put over here to protect them from rock hits and, and that so far. Now so far I, I've not experienced any pedal uh, rod hits I guess with rocks here and I've subsequently learned what these function as. I've decided I'm not going to put any protection here. I'm going to, I don't think these are going to be an issue. For sure, most of the rock hits that, that occur when uh, trail riding occur in the outer area. Usually you're not threading very narrow, tall, very narrow, tall gaps between rocks, usually, right? Uh, so I don't think generally these are going to get hit, but I will let you know over time. But even if they do get hit and potentially even damaged down here, it's not going to affect anything because these rods do not go in. They only come out. So if these were to get bent, say, a little bit here, you could still unscrew them and pull them out. And these serve the function of supporting the bottom part of the suspension uh, in what you can't see, and maybe I'll post a picture here, are uh, the the suspension on the bottom of the suspension. It rides on these two rods. These rods slide in and out of uh, two uh, oil impregnated bronze bearings. So they're kind of like permanently lubricated uh, bearings, and. Uh, and that's it. So any rock hits down here, I don't think are going to affect the up, you know, the inside of the wheel. As you can see, there are two bolts down here and four bolts up here. And these are the two available uh, holes that we can move this up. You can take the pedals off to make it a little easier to get your tools in. Because for instance, right here, it's it's kind of hard, uh, but I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna up not to uh, take off the pedals. I think it'll be pretty easy. Use a four millimeter Allen wrench to undo these. These don't feel like they have any Loctite or thread locker in them. Uh, I think I'm going to opt not to put any thread locker in here in them because they use um, they're using spring lock washers, which I think are pretty effective. And these are really easy to double check to see if they're loosening up. And obviously, very easy just to turn to tighten them up. And that's it. One regular washer, lock washer, and yes, no thread locker. Yep, 
that's it. These are the two new holes that I'll be using. Can't get easier than that. It's so easy that you could be uh, tempted to maybe ch change the height based on the writing you're going to do. <laughs> I don't like to use power tools, but some people do. So if you had a, you want to use your uh, power screwdriver to undo these, uh, it'd be pretty quick to change the photo height. Who knows, maybe I'll do that after I play around with this. I do, uh, I'm going to go on a long trail ride, maybe raise them, I don't know, we'll see. All right, there you have it. Pretty quick, probably took me <laughs> 10 minutes to do this, maybe. I don't know if you probably can't notice much difference, but uh, I'm actually very interested to see how this will affect the balance. Because I got to tell you guys, I love this. I love this mini. I was thinking if I had to pare down my collection of wheels to only four, which I know <laughs> that's a, like, could be considered a lot of wheels, it would be the, the Master Pro, the EX30, the Commander Mini, and one of the M10 series of wheels. I like this wheel that much, how it rides, the balance, the speed, the power. Ah, really like it. All right, well, I got a, at least two hours of daylight outside. Let me uh, gear up, take you for a ride, and uh, let you know what I think of the raised uh, pedals. Okay, well, very, very initial early impressions of raising the pedals are positive actually um, so far I'm not noticing any obvious change in stability you know generally this I mean <laughs> as you might expect this wheel is not as stable as a as the bigger wheels just intrinsically right uh, you know that's what you get with smaller wheels but uh, it feels just like I've been used to the last uh, couple hundred miles. Turning on it seems nice. Actually, I think maybe a little bit better because, you know, the. You, actually, I do feel it's amazing. Half an inch, 12 millimeters. You wouldn't think you'd feel it, but it, I feel like I'm standing a little higher, which is good. I, I think it, I take it as a positive because um, you know it makes it easier to do tight turns, less worry about pedal scraping. I'm sure it's going to be a little better than trails for uh, rock clearance. And uh, you know I'm not sure, but I think. I think you get more easier acceleration with the higher pedals too. I got to think about that, but basically, uh, I'm not. I'm not. No negatives. I'm not. Uh, I've only ridden a couple miles so so far, <laughs> but uh, yeah, nothing obvious. I thought. It, I thought it might feel. Ah, this feels unstable. It feels um, too high, but no. Very cool. I'm surprised they didn't give you an option just to raise it, raise it, uh, you know, 25 millimeters, a full inch. Why not? Just uh, a couple more screw holes. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is, uh, I guess the street part of this test is concluded. <laughs> I got maybe an hour, hour hour plus of sun, sunlight. I'm, I'm racing over to uh, Whittier Hills, Overheat Hill. I'm not going to do Overheat Hill, but um, I'm in that area. So I just want to do some little uh, trail riding, see what, see how I, uh, what I think about it there. So uh, I'll see you when I get there. I really love how this uh, wheel 
the power delivery uh, going up hills, going downhill. You can just go as uh, slow as you went downhill and you feel just total control, zero sense of the wheel, maybe wanting to gain speed on you, like can happen on the bigger wheels. And uh, of course this suspension is wonderful. <laughs> Like this wheel. This is a rough section of trail here. For, now the only thing is about the trail we riding, I have the street tire on this. Yeah, you know, which is obviously not ideal for this kind of riding, but uh, you know I have uh, I have enduro tires, you know, knobbies on just about every wheel I have. <laughs> so uh, that's why I kind of want to keep a street tire in this wheel. I'm enjoying it. I, I, and there is nothing like the handling of a street tire on the street. <laughs> That's the power, 30, 40 degrees C, doing some good climbing. Temperature probably right now is probably in the low 70s. I'm in Southern California right now. So just a hint of coolness in the air right now. And uh, I think it's about seven o'clock in the evening. Thirty-five degrees C, so it's it's just yeah, it's running as cool as I would uh, have anticipated. All right. So there's one uphill up ahead. I want to. I want to take it up. Very steep. I mean, not super, super steep, but it's it's steep and it's long. <laughs> so we'll uh, just kind of want to see how it feels going up. But you know, the pedals. I'm keeping them at this height. Rides beautifully. Still rides just as beautiful as before. Very nice balance. So if you, if you do get a Commander Mini, uh, do yourself a favor and experiment with the pedal height. It only takes 10-15 minutes of work. Okay, well the, the hill I was going to climb had too much brush on it, so I couldn't uh, I couldn't traverse it. So I'm going to try this other long and steep hill. I mean, there should be no problem climbing, but I'm curious what the temperature growth is. So it's 27 degrees Celsius right now. Let's see how it performs. Lots of ruts. So definitely this is where I would appreciate a bigger tire. <laughs> but this thing just I mean it's uh, I really don't have to put much effort into this. <laughs> it's almost like uh, just too too easy. The hardest part is uh, hardest part is picking the line. So I don't uh, run into bad 
Right. what I was going to take uh, wait a minute I can't jump this rut going uphill like this <laughs> oh well let's see 34 degrees C that's nothing really now it's 33 super cool running wheel all right, guys. I lost my drone somewhere. <laughs> I gotta go find it. Uh, guess that's it. Uh, thumbs up for the pedal height, and another thumbs up for the for the Extreme Bull Mini, my favorite wheel right now. All right, guys. Until next time. Safe riding.